Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to DevKit Weekly 2020, and you're about to discover the EK RA6 M 3G Graphics Evaluation Kit from Renaissance Electronics. So it's a new year, a new decade, and we in Embedding Computing Design would like to wish all of you out there in the electronics engineering community best of luck in 2020 and beyond. But without further ado, the first dev kit of the new year is Renaissance Electronics EK RA6 M3G, which is based on Renaissance new RA family of 32-bit MCUs, which include ARM cores. Before we get into some of the cool graphics elements of the kit, let's dive into the new RA family a bit more. The RA series of 32-bit MCUs feature ARM Cortex M23, M33, or M4 CPU cores, Renaissance Secure Crypto Engine IP, and they're all certified to level one of ARM's platform security architecture. They also feature tons of connectivity options, so all of this security comes in particularly handy for developers looking to quickly design and deploy secure IoT device endpoints without sacrificing much in the way of performance. For example, the RA6M3 device on this kit is based on an ARM Cortex-M4 core that runs at up to 120 megahertz and integrates a floating point unit and DSP instructions. It also includes a 2D drawing engine, cap touch sensing unit, an LCD graphics controller, and two megabytes of code flash, as well as 640 kilobytes of on-chip SRAM and memory protection units. You can find the RASOC on the lower part of the board here in this 176 pin LQFP package surrounded by four 40 pin headers. These headers provide access to analog components such as two 12-bit ADCs, two 12-bit DACs, um, six comparators, uh, six uh, programmable gain amplifiers, and even a temperature sensor, as well as a variety of clocks and timers supported by the RA device. The RA6M3 also drives a ton of connectivity options on the eval kit, including this reduced media independent ethernet interface over here that natively supports the IEEE 1588 precision time protocol, a full speed USB interface, which can be used for debugging, and a high speed USB interface down here that can function in either host or device modes. Besides all of that connectivity on the EK RA6M 3G, you can also find an onboard power supply um, I mentioned the debug interface earlier, uh, MCU and USB current uh, measurement test points. These connectors here up at, at the top also mean that you can add a variety of third-party expansion boards if you want. Of course, what really stands out about this particular kit is the companion board that comes with it. It features a 4.3 inch TFT color LCD screen with a capacitive touch overlay. That means you can bring 480 to 272 pixels into your next user interface design. Of course, what really makes kits like the EK RA6M 3G Go is the ecosystem and software support. So on the software side, developers can gain access to Renaissance Flexible Software Package, which is a library comprised of Amazon FreeRTOS, middleware stacks, hardware abstracted peripheral drivers, um, and even cryptographic APIs for ARM's PSA. And all of these can be plugged in as design building blocks to help you generate cool intuitive code faster. For more information on the Renaissance FSP, be sure to download it from info.renaissance.com forward slash en dash FSP dash download, and then look for examples and updates on the FSP GitHub page as well. So the EK RA6M 3G continues the development flexi flexibility that we mentioned with the FSP on the ecosystem side with support for lots of vendors, including safety and security tools from people like Wolf SSL and CypherBridge, as well as SecureRF, cloud technologies from Alibaba, Microsoft Azure, and others, and even AI and machine learning libraries from vendors like Kixo and uh, Ignitarium. Seger even gets in on the ecosystem action from the very start. So the quick start example for the EK RA6M 3G is based on Seger's MWIN embedded GUI development tool. So that walks you through generating QR codes and navigating various touch UIs um, on the LCD display that comes with the kit. And after you're done with that, you can continue on from, to more example projects um, from Seger and others that are also included in the aforementioned RAFSP GitHub. One demo in particular is a 
movie demo that uses the 2D drying engine on the RA6M3 to decode JPEG images um, at roughly 25 frames per second. All in all, this is a really well-rounded kit for IoT developers as it includes all that security, communications, uh, compute power, and more um, that you could ask for from an endpoint class device. The only thing it could potentially use is wireless, but um, as I mentioned before, there's all of these expansion headers up here that let you do that pretty easily. So if you're looking to get your hands on a Renesas EK RA6 M3G kit, you can purchase it for $162.50. But since it's a new decade, we're gonna go overtime on this edition of DevKit Weekly. And don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sit around for a ton more, but there is a special offer going on right now through Renaissance and Avnet, uh, where they're actually giving away two of these kits, as well as five RA2A1 uh, evaluation kits, which are basically the little brother of this one here. It doesn't have a touch screen, but um, a lot of the same functionality, same class of microcontrollers. So if you're interested, you've got better odds than normal this week of winning so fill out the form that's on the screen now and also of course it's in the description um, and you have higher than normal odds of winning thanks for watching devkit weekly and we'll see you next week